<coughs> Hello YouTube. I'm going to try to feed this false water cobra for the first time. Let's see. Let's see. It's hungry. She's such a beautiful little baby girl. She may or may not eat. I don't know. I'll offer her a pink anyway. Let's just see. Maybe. Yes, yes. Uh, I will accept a call from Rikers Island. Like a, a citrus sweetheart. I'll turn that down a little bit, please. Okay. That's one for you. Let's see how many we can get in. How about that? How about how many we can get in that baby girl? <clears throat> Daddy's got to feed his baby girl. Daddy's got to feed his baby girl. Two. All right. She is awesome. She is awesome. I cannot ask for a better pet. Look y'all are seeing out there how amazing this girl is. Thank you, baby. <laughs> She's swimming in the water. We got more for you, darling. We got more. There is more. More. Well, I don't want to take her comfort with swallow it down, but. Yes. Look how gentle she is. She's such a gentle sweetheart girl. Yes, she is. Amazing. Yes. I'm feeding her from a tweezer so she'll know that tweezer is how she gets her food. Here you go, baby. Don't forget, baby. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to get a view like that now. I'm going to give her another one. Watch the video for that one yet. That is unbelievable. Do y'all see how easy going she is? <laughs> she don't strike or anything. She just opens her mouth and takes it. This snake is a queen bee for sure. All she has to do is sit there and pick food. Definitely royalty in my book. You go, sweetheart. Get you some more. So she was shipped yesterday. She's had all day today to settle down. It's about 3 p.m. right now. I'm going to start popping the food to her. <clears throat> These things have an extremely high metabolism, so they can eat a lot. It's okay, baby. I didn't mean to scare you. Daddy, sorry. I'm trying to give you some more food. Yes, there you go. There you go, baby. Yeah. That's, a, that's the money shot right there, people. And on pinkies now, 
It's important on false water cobras not to feed them too big of a food item because their mouths are not like other snakes. They have to have uh, smaller foodstuffs. They have to have smaller foodstuffs. Yeah, that's going to be 11. There's 11 in here total, so she's going to eat 11. You can see her hooding up a little bit. Yeah, hey baby. Yep, she will be trained from this point on to take food out of a tweezer. So when she sees some tweezers, she'll know it's feeding time. That'll help with um, her not, or not getting bit because of a feeding response. Oh. Oh, I dropped that one. I dropped that one. Did she see it? She see the drop and she's getting off the floor. Yeah! <laughs> it's funny, they don't even see they just swallow. Happy, happy, uh, Hydrodynastis Gigas is a Hydrodynastis Gigas with a food in its mouth. Alright, 11th one. She just gobbles them up, don't she? Well, let's see. Let's see if we can see a difference. Not really. She's looking for more. Wow. I bet she could probably eat 11 more. I will offer her some more tomorrow. And then the next day. So I'm going to get her big and healthy very quickly. I mean, she is healthy. She was delivered here healthy with nothing wrong with her at all. As y'all can see, you couldn't ask for a better snake. Um, it eats. It's happy. I got her a water bowl in here and a wash rag for right now. So she can uh, choose between if she wants a water or a comfortable place to live. I'll eventually change that to Eco. Uh, I forget what the name of it is, the eco substrate, the chunks, or um, aspen or cypress or something like that. This is just a temporary five gallon aquarium. If y'all don't know what she is, she is a Hydrodynastes gigas, a false water cobra that is 50% hit heterozygous for lavender. So when she has babies, some of them will be purple. Yee -hee. Purple nurple. All right, friends, fans, everybody, I hope you are enjoying this. It's very exciting. Been cooped up and not able to hardly do anything for the last three years. So trying to get my life back on track slowly but surely, and it's working. Got lots of joyful moments with this girl and many more like her so y'all just follow me on my channel and when I start producing babies if y'all are interested in that let me know y'all can see how calm temperament the mother is uh, if uh, you missed the other video oh sorry baby I didn't mean to scare you you missed the other video there's one more video of the unboxing and I added it to the playlist false water cobra so you can follow her on the false water cobra thing as well as Sarah usually named every snake that we have or Mikey but um, unfortunately she cannot now so my fans good time to leave a comment below of a good name for this female 50% het lavender hydrodynastes gigas false water cobra female and I will, not randomly, but I will look through the names that y'all got, choose one that I like, and shout you out on my channel for giving me a great name for this beautiful living treasure. Hope y'all enjoyed. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. Peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Edward Tindall and...
Hydrodad Nasty's Gigas Tindall out.